hello, Jake's electrical bedroom or kitchen. Uh, recently, I was in Moses Lake and I went to Bargain Town to pick up a gift for somebody I care about very much. Uh, and the lady recognized me and she says, hey, Jake, I got something you would like. Uh, one of the last things I thought I'd ever find at a place like that. What do you know? A J38 key. Uh, really heavy used through like the 30s and the 40s by the armed services to teach Morse code send and receive it. Um, really, it's just a momentary switch that's normally open, uh, but so intricate, intricately made. You, know? um, you can adjust tension here and here, and that would uh, make this a little bit harder to press down. You can adjust these little set screws up here and create how much distance you want between the two points to create the short. Uh, brass binding terminals, just beautiful and knurled. And, uh, this would be the short bar, and essentially whatever you put here or here, it's going to share the signal across, whether it be ground, 12 volts, whatever. Um, currently I have it hooked up to where this is ground. When this is pressed down, it closes the ground and it goes up to this terminal right here which goes out to the uh, little piezo buzzer uh, I got from my work and then the 12 volt end of it is just hooked up to this ground bar or well bus bar or short bar whatever they call it uh, to my little power adapter right there that's just 12 volts at 200 milliamps uh, but then you also have this short bar and it moves and it just creates a constant and I think probably the way it, it was you know designed the way they had it set up is I'm pretty sure that was so nothing got accidentally sent but the way I have it hooked up it doesn't work that way um, this is just a buzzer not some kind of communications equipment but anyway I, I'd love to show you the operation of said machine so I gotta hold this down because it's not bolted. But when I press down on the key here, it creates a short, which makes the buzzer go off. And you can just sit here and just be. Hello! Send bombers over here, right now. We need the bombers. Anyway, I'm going to integrate that somehow into my decoration and have it out so people can play with it, but you honestly have no idea how fun it is to just press that button down and hear that noise. Uh, I'm not very easily entertained, but uh, that's very entertaining. I mean, you can just use your imagination and pretend you're sending coded messages to Germany or whatever you might be doing, but uh, it's addicting. I mean, it's it's like crystal meth pressing this button. It's just, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. But you know, the, the only best way to do is just come over and play with it. Anyone can play with it. I I, I share my toys. Uh, Should have went to bed last night. Uh, I had very good advice on doing so, but I had all these parts, and I was like, I got to put this together and play with it. The only problem that I have with it is uh, these two points right here, when I was pressing down, nothing was happening, and what I finally had figured out is that they just, over the years, got into a kind of like a corroded state, and so once I cleaned up the contacts, it worked, worked amazing. So anyway, yeah, my J38 key. Uh, my Westinghouse watt meter and ampers meter. And, you know, several other odds and ends. My, my decorating style is kind of different, but, you know, I'm pretty freaking different myself. So, anyway, you have a great night. Bye.